Hello everyone. Uh, this is the next part of Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun. Now we're sitting here at Thornton, uh, which is where we were messing about really last time. Uh, and since the uh, last part, I've been looking around a bit and I had been thinking of connecting up Sacramento to uh, Laredo, uh, Ventura, and uh, maybe up to Denton. Now I will eventually be doing that those connections, but I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do those connections yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to start running a line around from Thornton to Garland. That is Garland. Yeah, that's Garland. And then from there, ultimately around to Killeen. Now, the reason for doing that is, well, it's a pretty obvious uh, line to make. And then I'll have a couple of possible things I can do over there. Uh, I think I'll run some uh, boats up in here from Killeen to Berkeley and uh, what is that? Uh, Arveda, Arvada, whatever that is. Uh, so we'll get some canal act building action over here and so on. Now, uh, what I'm, I'm going to do though is first I have to figure out how I'm going to get uh, the rail out of Thornton because I have it connected up with the, uh, the docks here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, and now that I think about it, would it make more sense to run ships around here? Nope, I definitely want the rail on land here. So, uh, I can come out of here and I can crank it around this way and go through this gap here. And I think that would work uh, really well for the most part. But, I think I'll probably want a, a dock over here. And... I, I might want to link the rail with that. Uh, so, I'm not sure really. Uh, I Actually, now that I think about it, no, I, I don't really want to dock there. So, so what I can do then is, uh, yeah, I can just go through the gap there and then it will give me a nice swing around through here. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'll do. So the first thing I'm going to do to establish that is uh, put in a uh, well I'm gonna put in a bus station because we're gonna need commuters here and I'm gonna put it at the end of uh, this road here like that and then while I'm at it I might as well put the uh, the commuter in there yep like that and uh, right I'm going to need a, uh, whatchamacallit here, depot, that's what it is. And I'm going to chuck a couple of uh, uh, stagecoaches on there. I think two of them will be enough. Uh, so that's going to be a new line, it's going to go here and here. And this is going to be um, Garland. So that's going to be... Passengers, Garland, no, Garland, commuter. Right, okay. Yeah, good, yeah. Uh, okay, now now I need to chuck a uh, passenger station down here. I'm going to need to, going to need two tracks. Um, and I need uh, cash, uh, obviously. So... So we're going to have to wait for the cash to come in. Uh, we're going to need need 400,000 of, of, of those uh, dollar thingies uh, to put it there. What happens if I rotate it a bit? Oh, that gets more expensive. But I do... No, I don't want it rotated, rotated at that angle. That angle... Yeah, that's, you know, that angle probably works as well as anything. 
Uh, let's up the tempo here and uh, get some cash in. Since we are, okay, we can take that. Yep. Uh, good. Now, I'm probably going to end up with a cutting here. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, fling the rail up from this side. Uh, right. So, going through here, let's just make that level. Yeah, that doesn't look so terrible, really. Uh, though we do have to wait for some uh, cash to appear. Uh, which, it is appearing at a reasonable rate, so... Uh, yeah, okay, so we got that. Now, how much is this going to be? 51k. Well. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, this is, of course, we're still at the point in the game where cash flow is a little less... Um, ideal than uh, than we might like and we haven't hit the point where we can get a bigger loan so uh, right uh, anyway uh, while we're waiting for cash to accumulate uh, there was a patch to the game that came out uh, just uh, last week uh, it's uh, the one that was in beta testing uh, it, was, it has been officially released. Uh, that means that uh, this is the updated version. Now, performance does seem to be somewhat improved. Uh, about one of the things that does seem to be way improved is memory and load times. Uh, like you, you may have just noticed the autosave completed almost instantly there, instead of taking, you know, 20 seconds or so. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's part of what's improved, but the Megalomaniac map size now uh, has a much saner uh, memory footprint. And that uh, that's actually quite significant. Uh, now, do I want to keep that level through there? Uh, well, I could turn on the ugly thing and look. Where's the contours? Contours. Yeah, I could keep that level. Well... Or, I could do this, and save some cash. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that seems like the uh, more sensible thing to do, doesn't it? Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing around this side of the uh, industry there. Uh, I'm going to force this flat, because then we'll get a less egregious uh, level crossing. Let's turn the ugly off. And we'll back this up here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, the uh, the update uh, has substantially improved uh, the memory uh, memory usage, and has also uh, really improved load times. Uh, it used to be uh, go for coffee and whatever while you're waiting for your megalomaniac map to load, but yeah, that looks okay. Uh, but now it loads in something resembling a sensible amount of time. Uh, and that's uh, quite a uh, change from uh, the previous uh, version. Uh, they've also added a straight line road tool. So you can actually build roads that are straight. Uh, uh, instead of getting that auto curving thing that everything seems to like doing. Okay, so now... Uh, what do we get if we just fling this around here? Um, that's not terrible. Not sure I like the cutting, but it's not egregious. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to obviously uh, add a uh, platform at the station here. But as you can see, we're accumulating cash. Now, we are on turbo time here, but we're accumulating cash at a reasonable rate here. So uh, so that's like even spending 96k here, we're still up 250 uh, on this here uh, time period. Now, if the date starts uh, moving forward too fast here, I can always freeze time. I probably won't. Uh, I'm going to try avoiding that because I want this uh, this series to get to a much later time period. 
Uh, mostly so we can play with uh, usable airports and that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, uh, you know, it's... Uh, I, I like the ability to freeze the date. Okay, we can connect that up. Now, I don't know how much that's going to cost to uh, finish the dual track here. Uh, it's probably going to cost quite a quite a bit. Well, anyway, let's see about this. That's 118. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, come on. Go. Uh, definitely want the dual track uh, completed. How much is this going to be? Uh, 187. So, you know, this isn't actually that bad. Uh, I mean, if we can spend the better part of a couple million in two time periods and, uh, you know, be able to uh, continue turning a profit overall, you know, that's not so bad. Right. Uh, of course, uh, waiting for the uh, cash to come in is uh, tedious. Uh, but anyway, uh, right now I could, of course, uh, just uh, go off screen and uh, and we could wait for it to to come in. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, I'm gonna just observe some things here. Well, we don't have uh, a big backlog there. Uh, once this line is up, I think we'll get uh, a much better uh, passenger uh, uh, income as well on the rail. Okay, yeah, we can finish that. Uh, okay, so now we've got a dual track uh, line up to Garland. This won't really make a lot of money until it's connected up to Killeen. But that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, I think that's going to be a... That's going to be, I think, a, a double stop through line uh, right okay so we've got lots of passengers accumulating there um, yeah maybe I should make that passenger station a little little bit bigger uh, configure platforms passenger we can add a well we can add two so yeah, now we've got a larger storage capacity on the passenger platform, which will help when a train arrives. But we are definitely going to need to configure this with a second platform. Uh, yeah, and of course we're always we're going to be perennially short on cash for a bit here. Now, of course, I could freeze time and then run the game on turbo for a bit and build up cash, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. I don't see the uh, need to do that, actually. Now, I could just build a shorter platform here initially. But no, I'm going to build the uh, tracks and then I'll connect it up uh, properly. Uh, of course, have to wait for... Uh, enough cash to be there. Platforms, passenger, one, two, three, four, okay. And we're going to need to put one of these things in. They don't cost anything. And you know what? Just for symmetry, let's put the roof on. Now, let's get out of there. Uh, right. Okay, we need to finish this connection. And for completeness, we'll build this connection. Right. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the platform. So do this. Yep. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so we have a uh, train line. Now... Uh, how much is a train going to cost us? What do we have for locos? We have the Baldwin, which does 40. We have the General, which does 45. Uh, the Russian Class T does 55. Um, 
That should be fine for passengers. The general's cheaper to run, but this will do 55. See, passenger cars will do 50. So if we add one of these at 500k, and then we go into the passenger, uh, the uh, plain old passenger car will do 50. And uh, I think we'll want three of those. So we need 1.7 million of these here dollar things to uh, get that train. Um, like the minimum train is a million. So yeah, yeah. That's going to take a moment to accumulate. So uh, let's take a look here. How's Thornton doing? Uh, yeah, we're just about maxing out there. What about Killeen? Uh, we're a little bit shy of maxing out there. Uh, so I could add a couple more manage vehicles. I think I can add five more of these on here. What? Why is that 61? Uh, sell that. I didn't want six more. Right. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure that will uh, increase the road vehicle income. Now, we have another one of those. Okay, over here. What's, uh, how's Tempe doing? Yeah, it's maxed out. Okay. Uh, right. Good. Now, let's uh, take a boo over here. Uh, this, this is doing okay. Let's take a look at the lines. Uh, let's uh, sort by balance. Uh, so the ship line is uh, losing 129k because it has too much capacity. Uh, a couple of commuter lines are uh, negative. That's fine. They're not hugely negative. But our uh, money makers are still making money and our Thornton sack is Sacramento uh, passenger service is uh, making a quarter million so so that's uh, that's pretty good let's take a boo over here at Sacramento uh, yeah uh, that seems to be doing okay so we might need to increase the uh, passenger capacity on that line now I'm using Thornton here as a sort of semi hub uh, you know, a split between uh, the train operations on the uh, the lines, but I think ultimately Sacramento is going to be the hub because we're going to have the uh, a main line through up to up to Laredo, and a couple of uh, we're going to have a spur off to Ventura, and probably a spur off to. Uh, Denton, and then possibly uh, Island Hop over to Reno. Uh, probably I'll run a ship line uh, across between Lincoln and Reno. I don't know for sure. Anyway, the main line is going to come up through Laredo and uh, Lincoln and over to Tempe. And then the other main line... Uh, is going to come across Garland to Killeen, and uh, yeah, and probably from there around through Grand Rapids and up to Tempe. And I think there will be a connection across between Grand Rapids and Laredo. It will depend on passions or tr passenger traffic, I think. But I'm not I'm not entirely sure. You know, I'll probably change my mind twelve times before I get there. But while we're uh, waiting for cash to accumulate, let's scout out potential cargo constructions. Uh, okay, so over here we could get uh, oil from crude, but we don't have anything we can do with it. Up here we can make con mats, but where would we go with them? Uh, well, uh, 
Arvada uh, wants con mats. Uh, we got two quarries here and a com mats plant. So we could link the quarries up to the com mats and uh, deliver them to Arvada. Now, this is obviously long enough to use a train. And Arvada's far enough inland. Yeah, uh, train would make sense there, I think. Uh, so we could do that. Now, who else wants con mats? Uh, nobody else in the area. Uh, Wichita does, but that's quite a ways away. Uh, okay, so let's take a look around over here. Uh, we've got an oil refinery. Fuel refinery. Uh, is there any oil wells? Uh, no. Well, there's one over here. Yeah. Well, yeah, that may not work so well either. Huh. Oh, we've got a tool chain we can connect up at Reno. Yeah, maybe that'll be the thing to do next, is the tool chain at Reno. Uh, where is the... Uh... Okay, so we need to get inland for that. And... Yeah, how, how, would, how would we do that? Uh... We're on the island here uh, with the with this here lumber thing. Wait, 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 wait. This uh, or this here logs could be brought over to this here sawmill, which could then be brought over to this here tools factory, and then that could be delivered to Reno. Yeah, yeah, that could work. So I would put a dock here. I'd need to get a dock over here somehow. And a dock over here. And then probably a train line here. Though maybe trucks would work. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, is that the smartest thing to do though well ships are fairly cheap to operate so maybe it is maybe I'm not sure um okay you know what uh, I'm going to uh, look at this okay cargo harbor we can easily uh, outside navigable water. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can fit one there. Uh, we can fit one there. Uh, it'll be an interesting connection. Okay, so we can fit these docks in. Uh, right. Um, these are fairly expensive. You know what? I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Okay. So we'll put that there. We'll put, we'll spin this around and stick it here. Uh, we've got collisions. We'll stick that there. Uh, and over here, where is it? Here. Uh, spin this around and put that there. Yeah. Now we need some roads. Well, let's use uh, a country road here. 
Um, this is going to be ridiculously expensive. Okay, and we need to come up here. Now, does that get... Yep, that gets us in range. I see, the straight road tool is kind of nice. Uh, okay, now we need to go over... Where is it? Uh, where? Over here. I need another road. This one's not so bad. Um, well, we'll do this. So we get tendril action. And that gets us tendril action there. Yep, we're connected. And then over here, uh, another road. And does that, that connects. Okay. Uh, and I think we can do this with one, one ship on a multi-hop shipping lane here. But no, this doesn't balance, so... Okay. So, we need one of these things. Uh, right, we'll put that there. Okay, and of course now we need cash. Okay, we've got some, more, some new trains. Now, uh, we're going to buy cargo ship. Everything's a cargo ship. Uh, okay, so the Rigi, Rigi, take does 25 uh, it it's uh, 91 the the Wilhelm the first uh, 20 times loading 22 20 times load oh that carries all uh, yeah yeah we'll, we'll take one of those we need 550k to buy one uh, yeah that's gonna take a moment to accumulate uh, a moment. Uh, so this is uh, this is why uh, ship lines are uh, are worth doing when you have have water, uh, as you have it has some decent capacity. It's relatively slow, but you have decent capacity. Um, right. So we're going to ultimately want two ships on here, I think. Um, and I think I'll uh, connect from here to Reno with trucks because it'll be cheaper. Ultimately, I'll probably replace that with rail, but I'll still need trucks into the Reno city. So, yeah, perhaps not. Anyway, it's going to take a moment here to accumulate that uh, cash. Uh, let's uh, take a look here. Um, Okay, so yeah, it's costing us a hundred and some k for the uh, infrastructure we just built, uh, right? Uh, so yeah, I might just uh, end the part uh, shortly here and uh, fling the ship on off off camera. Uh, because we're clearly uh, uh, running a deficit here. Uh, you know, well, maybe not so much. Uh, anyway, yeah, we just need to get up to 500k. Oh, for... I really wish these things wouldn't disappear when you go into these things. It's really bloody annoying. Uh, we're up to 1862 here, uh, and we're up a quarter million, so we had something deliver. Uh, right. Okay, so we're, we're definitely still uh, coming out on the positive side, uh, so that's good. When we get the ship running, it will be much more positive, as we will be uh, turning a net positive on the... Uh, on the water stuff, I think, at that point. Because this is, after all, cargo, right? Uh, come on. Uh, this is the annoying part. Uh, you know, when you've uh, over-invested and you're waiting for, uh, some, for cash to come in so you can do something. 
Uh, right. Right. So again, we're uh, we're 100k in the hole on this uh, counting period. Now we're making half a million from road vehicles. Uh, we're not making much of anything from trains, uh, and and uh, we're not making anything from boats. So. So that's uh, that's going to be. Uh, we need to get that turned around. Uh, we broke 500k there, uh, so I got to be ready to snipe it as soon as it pops up to 550. Uh, if it pops up to 550, uh, come on, you can do it. Okay, 500, five. <laughs> we need uh, a big uh, delivery or something to come in here. Uh, right. Uh, now, of course, you know, this is part of the game, you know, watching numbers and uh, going, why did that number go that low and, and all of that jazz? So if I can get one ship going on this line... Uh, things will be a lot better. Um, yeah, so we need a, a train to uh, come in and deliver something. All one train that we have. I think it's one train. Uh, right. Yeah. So, so we need we need something to come in and do a do a proper delivery. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I've been uh, pondering, you know, I'll just pontificate here for a bit. I've been pondering uh, throwing another uh, series or another game into the mix here. Uh, I just picked up Train Sim World on a massive sale. There we go. We've got ourselves a ship. Uh, right. Okay. So let's get out of there. Uh, now we can make a new line. And we're going to start here. And then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and that will get a loop going there. Uh, yep, and we've already got logs here, so yeah. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, we're going off with forty-three logs on our uh, maiden voyage here. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's uh, f uh, tooling along there. Uh, and that's gonna go up here. And it'll take a month of yesterday's and tomorrow's to get there. Uh, right, so make sure that doesn't go away so we can observe it. Now, from here, I need to uh, add a truck stop, which will only need one of one of these here uh, platform deweys, and we'll put it here, and it's going to cost 50 50k. Uh, right, because I I just want to get this chain completed if I can uh, this time around. Uh, so that we can get even more. Okay, that can go there. Now, where here do we want to deliver the tools? Well, I think we can deliver them here. Yeah, I think that will cover it. Actually, uh, let's take a look about possibly here. Yeah. Yeah, there, I think. There we go. Uh, and now I need a uh, whatchamacallit here, which I will uh, whack in here. Right. Now, cargo. Uh, I think I'm going to want... How far is it? Now, that's a fair haul, so... Uh, ten of them is going to be like a quarter million. So, 
Okay, so yeah, we're running empty here uh, on uh, on our uh, trip there. Uh, let's uh, start with 10 of these, uh, which is the quarter million, uh, which I'm pretty sure we can we can get to. So this is running to Reno. Is it, it hadn't uh, produced anything over here yet. Uh, I'm definitely going to want a second ship on here. You know what? Let's reverse that and go and pick up the... Uh, uh, the planks that we uh, created uh, because well you know otherwise it'll be even longer before okay now we can get those uh, and then we can go from on a new line from here to here yeah yeah that will work and this is going to be uh, cargo delivery Reno and this is going to be, I guess it's going to be tools. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, I, I should uh, rename this. This is cargo ship. And this is going to be uh, Reno. And this is going to be tools chain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so these are going to run empty for a while. Uh, do we? No, we don't have any warnings. These are going to be running empty uh, until... Uh, okay, so we picked up there 20 of our planks. Uh, so yeah, we're going to need a second ship on this, this uh, loop here. Uh, so that's uh, definitely a thing. Uh, but we should be in a spot now where uh, when this starts paying off, it will pay off. And then next time around, we'll be able to put the train on the uh, mainline thing we're building over, over here. Uh, and maybe complete the linkage. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah that's, uh, that's basically uh, everything for this time around. Uh, let's uh, take a look here. Uh, yeah, this is a long long haul here so definitely need two maybe three ships on this loop anyway uh that's uh that's gonna be it for this time uh next time around uh more of this uh getting things up and running and uh, hopefully we end up with a much more profitable thing going on real soon now anyway uh that's all for now probably the next part uh will be up on thursday as usual uh anyway uh see you next time